everyone. Here we are again for story time at West Stafford Free Public Library. And I am Mrs. Can or Miss Diane, whichever you prefer to call me. If you notice, I don't have my mask on today. I've had my vaccination. And I do have my mask with me though. So if I go out and I'm around people, I will wear my mask. But I'm in here right now and I don't need to wear it. Plus, I need to take it off so you can hear the stories. Now, I didn't have anything in particular that I was going to read, so I just kind of went around the story room and looked at some books, and all of a sudden I thought about colors. I love colors. So I found a book about colors. It's called My Favorite Color, it's by Aaron Becker, and the publisher is Candlewick Studio. My favorite color. Ooh, I don't know for sure what my favorite color is. I feel like every day I, I have a different favorite color. Um, today just happened to be yellow. Today I really was thinking a lot about yellow being my favorite color. So let's see what's up with our story here about my favorite color. <gasps> Look at that. The first page is what my favorite color is. My favorite color is yellow. All shades of yellow. Yellow like the sun in a clear blue sky. Oh, but actually, I think that blue is my favorite color. All shades of blue. Blue like ripples on an emerald sea. But then again, green's, green's a good one too. Green, all shades of green. And, and what about colors of a brilliant sunset in the sky? They're kind of pink. Yes. But then, I'll watch the long day bend into the purple hues of night. Now, I will say some days, I really do like purple. Now, maybe purple could be my favorite color. No. At least today, I'm certain yellow is my favorite color. And maybe red. Hmm. What about red? Oh, an orange. Oh, sometimes I like orange. And the dew dappled colors of sweet ripe fruits, like red apples and yellow bananas. And oh, oh goodness, it's hard to have a favorite color. What's that? Wait a minute. I can only have one favorite color? Okay, well, I guess today it's my one color is yellow. Hmm. Look at all those wonderful colors. Mm. Oh. It's impossible to have one favorite color. All colors are wonderful and fun to look at. And I think it's a good thing to have different favorite colors at different times. And that is our story about my favorite color. Mr. Bobby, what is your favorite color, at least for today? Today, mm -hmm. my favorite color is blue. <gasps> See, Mr. Bobby picked the color blue for today. Could it be because it's a sunny sky out there with blue, beautiful blue sky? Well, the sky is blue and I like going to the beach. And the ocean is at the beach and oh. the ocean is nice dark blue. There you go. See? There, Mr. Bobby likes blue. Today I happen to like yellow. Think about what color you like today. And since I was looking for books about color, 
Then I came across this one, and I thought, oh, I think I want to also read this one to everyone. It's called The Rainbow Book, and it's by Kate Ort. And the publisher is, ooh, Accord Publishing. And this book looks a lot different than most books because it's all on black pages. It's kind of interesting. It really makes the colors pop out. The Rainbow Book. Some days, everything feels black and white. But usually, I feel more colorful. When I feel pink, I am sweet and cuddly. When I feel red, I am fiery and bold. When I feel orange, I'm energetic and strong. When I feel yellow, I am happy and bright. When I feel green, I am fresh and alert. When I feel blue, I am calm and peaceful. When I feel purple, I'm mysterious and exciting. So when you feel a color, sometimes I feel like the rainbow and I'm letting all of my colors show, just like a rainbow. So that was our other story that I thought I wanted to share about colors. Now, what I did do, then I thought, Oh, wait a minute, I came across a book about the wind. And I said, well, that's okay. I can do two stories with colors. Then I'll do a story about the wind. Because it just so happened, when I was looking for the books, it was a windy day outside. So I chose Like a Windy Day. It's by Frank Ash and Devin Ash. And the publisher is, ooh, where's my publisher? Oh, Harcourt. Harcourt Incorporated. So, hmm, imagine if you were the wind. Got to get to where the story starts. I want to play like a windy day. I want to zoom down hillsides and race through the streets. I want to scatter the seeds and turn the windmills. Fly kites, wave Flags. And snap wet sheets that are hanging on the line. And I want to play like a windy day. I want to lift the birds and the butterflies into the sky. I want to steal hats. <laughs> Everybody's hat is blowing all around. I want to drive the clouds and the rain and the sailboats. I want to make the umbrellas fly because I want to play like a windy day. I want to shake the dew from a spider's web and help her baby soar away into the sky. I want 
to blow through the green grasses. And crash big blue waves on the shore. Mm -hmm, I want to play like a windy day. I want to fly with the leaves from the trees, and I want to play like a windy day. Until I become like a gentle breeze. That's our story about like a windy day. Did you ever pretend you were like the wind? Kind of run and let your hair blow all over and just have a good time? Well, of course, with all of this, we have a take and make. And since I found the books about the wind, and then I found the books about colors, hmm, I said, let's see, what could be our take and make craft this time? And it turned out we came up with, hmm, it's not a wind sock. Hmm, it's not really a kite. It's just kind of a windy, blowy, fun thing to do, and it has colors, and when the wind, or you're running with it, the wind will blow the streamers and blow through here, so it'll fly all around you. And so that's what we made this time. And um, if you want to take and make, you can ask mom or dad to come get one at the, at the um, library, or they can include it if they're getting a, a, a tabletop pickup. But that's all you have to do is ask for a take and make. Now, before we end, we'll have a couple of our songs. Do you remember what the first song is that we do? <gasps> That's right, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Can you get your spiders ready? Yes, the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I always liked that song. And like we said before, the weather's getting warmer. You're liable to see some spiders outside in the gardens or wherever. In fact, I was picking up a box from my garden the other day, and there was a spider. And he was a kind of a big spider. He was almost like this big, like this. Brown and he looked almost like he was a little bit furry. So I took the box and I went over to where the hill is by my yard and I just shook the box a little bit and he went doo -doo 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 -doo, and he ran right out into the grass. Yeah, that was that little spider. Wonder if he's ever been on a water spout. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's do another song. Uh, how about we get our stars ready? using our fingers. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I think that's always a really fun song to do. And like we've talked about before, at nighttime, mom or dad takes you out and you look up in the sky. There's a whole lot of little stars, but there might be one that's extra super duper bright. That could be the twinkle twinkle little star. And now we'll get ready with our bus. Can you get that bus going? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. 
The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. How about the windows? The windows on the bus slide up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus slide up and down all through the town. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. Mommy's on the bus go on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Daddy's on the bus go bump a dee bump, a bump a dee bump, a bump a dee bump. The daddy's on the bus go bump a dee bump, all through the town. And the kids on the bus jump up and down, up and down. Up and down, the kids on the bus jump up and down, all through the town. Oh, very good. I hope some of you were up there jumping up and down, having a good time. So we're at the end of our story time. It was so nice to have some time with you. I hope you join us again when the next story time comes up in about two weeks. So everyone have a very good day day, evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this, and have a good week, and I hope to see you all soon in the library. Bye-bye.